So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first thing you have to just click on start lab and open the console incognito window now if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel also check the description for other skill badges and pre-assessment skill badges so this lab is recently updated so here is the updated solution for it just open the console incognito window and follow as i am doing Now on the search box we have to search basically type dataplex and just select the universal this one dataplex universal catalog just click on it and it will open if it is unable to open just retry the same thing again. Now here basically we have to create a lag a leak and with a zoom so first of all click on manage section now just click on create now here you have to just enter the name copy the name carefully paste over here again region is important always select the region which is present in the lab instruction you can see here it's us east one in my case it might be different for you now here just click on create now this will take five to ten minutes so you need to wait for it and once it's done we'll we'll move forward to the next step basically the addition of zone so just wait So finally here you can see it is successfully created and it's active. Now it's time to add a zone. So how will you add the zone? You have to just click on customer engagement and then we'll be adding a raw event zone. So don't worry everything will be covered. Meanwhile if you haven't liked the video yet do like it and subscribe the channel. Now here click on add zone. Now for the name come back to the lab instruction here you can see draw event data just copy it carefully select it and paste over here now it is selected as raw zone if it asks for curated zone you have to select like this now the region is same you don't have to do anything now just click on create it will again take some time to get created
Now once it is active and created, we have to just add some assets over here. So how we'll add, you have to just click on the raw event data and just create an asset. Basically for this particular lab, we have to create a cloud storage asset. So you have to just check the score for task number one. Now here you can see we have got the score. Now just click on it. Now here just click on add assets. Add an asset and change it to storage bucket. Now here we don't have. First of all we have to add the name. So the name is raw event files. Make sure there is no extra space. Dot or full stop. And here basically we have to create a cloud storage bucket. Because it is not created earlier. So first thing is that we have to just mention the name over here. Click on this bucket. Browse and just click on this create new bucket. Now for the bucket name they have mentioned the name. Basically it is a project ID only. You can see. Just paste over here and just continue. And here update the region. What region we have to use? US East 1 in my case. If it is different showing you have to select as per your lab instruction only. It is dynamic and gets updated every time. Now click on create. Then click on confirm. Now once the bucket is created. You have to just remove this, click on select, just click on done. If you get this kind of error, wait for some time, it gets updated automatically. Then continue, continue and then just submit over here. Now here we have just created a lake, added a zone and then we have to just, basically we have just added the asset also. Now the next step is that we have to tag the asset. So basically the task number three, basically which many of you are facing issue of the aspect type. So don't worry, we'll cover that also. Just click on the catalog option. Here create aspect type is being shown over here. So you have to just click on it. Now for the name come back over here. Copy the name carefully. Change the region. It might be different for you. I am repeating because this is the most important thing. Now here we have to add a tag so just copy the name carefully just click on add paste the name select enumerated then add value first one is y then click on done then again add then y sorry n then done all these things are correct you have to just save and create it Okay, you have to just save it and create it. So finally it is successfully created. Now the next step will be following. So just stay tuned. Just click on the search option. And then just click on data universal catalog and on the resources search box. Okay, you have to just type raw event data search it 
and from here you have to just click on draw event data over here this one okay just click on it here basically we have to attach the tag template which we have just now created now here the ui is recently updated so here you can see here one option is there basically if you try to check optional tag and aspects just click on add now here you can clearly see the name over here and from here just type y solely select y and save it now once it is done we are done with the lab guys this was the main problem for many of the participants now it is done now do like the video and subscribe the channel if you face any issue do let me know in the comment section thank you guys have a great day and if you want to enable this check my progress bar if you are doing this as a part of arcade game you can check the description just reload the browser if you are unable to see 100 out of 100 now in the lab